Hey, this is Mr. Flood. Welcome back to Buckeye Junior High. For those of you that have not been here to the junior high, I'm the principal here, and I want to give you a tour of our building and to show you some, uh, just some of the many things that are going on that we believe are fantastic in our building. As you walk into our building, many of you in the past would recall that we had just white all over this building, and it looked like the schools back from the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, and in our case, all the way up to 2016. This past summer, we changed all of the, co the colors of the walls here to brighten the atmosphere for all of our students and staff coming in our building. We wanted to educate our students with a 21st century education. So when you walk in, now you're gonna see new coloring. We put some bright orange and really some like green blue tint which ties in the tiling down on the floor. But also you'll see we have up there many pictures of our students and them enjoying themselves and having fun in our building and what really education means to them today. So one of the other things that we were able to do this past year with all the painting that was going on, I talked with Mr. Zibanowski, our art teacher, and I said, what can you do here in our building with your art skills and being the artist that you are? And the next thing that I knew, Mr. Z was coming down and spending his time and efforts right here. He created our very own book that all of our students are proud of and it really just kind of decorates our wall pretty neat. So this past year, in conjunction with the Medina County Career Center, we were very fortunate to have the Career Center work with us and give us one of our own rooms where we are now holding Project Lead the Way. In this classroom, you'll go in and you'll see some of the new education that's taking place where our students are working on design and modeling as well as robotics. Next year, we're actually going to offer one other model of the Project Lead the Way criteria. And if you walk into here, we were able to update this room. It used to be an old industrial arts room, and you'll see now what really new technology is and what our new building is starting to take shape of. walking into our library, again depending when you went to school here, but you will see the many changes that have already taken place over the last two years in here. Uh, th this was an addition put on in the early 2000s, so if you went to school prior to that and you have not been back, this would be totally new. But when you walk in here, we're going to see two things today. We're going to see all the updates that have taken place in the library, as well as we're going to have one of our math teachers in here working with our students, and they're going to be working on Google SketchUp, and they're also going to be working on coding. So come on in. So this past year at Buckeye Junior High, we not only had this great space that was our library, but we wanted to create it where it was a new learning environment. So now when kids come into the library, the very first thing that they're gonna do is they're gonna come up and they're going to use one of these iPads right here and they're going to check in or if they're checking out any books from our library, that's exactly what they'll do. Also, you can see this great learning environment over here, the, this learning space that we have for our kids. They can come in, they can sit down. We have obviously CNN running up there, so they're getting the news, but they're also able to sit down and collaborate with one another in here. So it's not the library of old, but really it's a new learning environment for all of our kids, and they're excited to come in here and sit down and work. Uh, some of the future updates that we're thinking about doing is somewhat creating a charging station because in this building we have gone almost one-to-one -one with all of the Google technology. All of our seventh graders at this time have computers and next year both seventh and eighth graders will all have their own Chromebooks. Well, why don't you come into one of our language arts classes and you'll see what it kind of looks like where now we're able to use all of this technology.
over the last month at Buckeye Junior High, we've conducted a geography bee, and the winner of the geography bee was Zach Miho. And so we're going to go into Mr. Reinbrecht's room right now, and we're going to congratulate him. Come on in. Sorry for the interruption, but Zach, will you do me a favor? Will you stand up? Zach, or geography bee winner, right? Am I right in saying that? Mrs. Crabtree and many of her colleagues have put together a spelling bee and our spelling champion here at Buckeye Junior High is Peyton Ware. So why don't you come on in with me and we're going to go and we're going to congratulate her. Is Peyton here? Peyton, will you stand up? Everybody, spelling bee champion. Congratulations, Peyton. Every single month, one of our teams here at Buckeye Junior High recognizes our student of the month. This next month at our board office on February 14th, yes, Valentine's Day, we're going to present our new student of the month. It's Dylan Lucas. Come on in and let's let him know. Hey, do we have Dylan Lucas in here? Dylan, next month you're going to be our student of the month. Is that right? Yeah. Everybody, let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations, Dylan. Junior high, we have some unbelievable teachers. And one of the biggest things over this last year is I wanted to find a way to recognize some of these teachers. And one of these teachers is in here, as well as the other one is with me right here. And this has to be presented on there. But I have these two teachers that I recommended from our building to be OMLA's Teacher of the Year. So please come with me. I nominated these two for Ohio Middle Level Educator of the Year. Again, I'm Mr. Flood and I'm the principal here at Buckeye Junior High, but this building isn't made up of just the principal. It's made up of all of our teachers who are the rock and foundation of our building and all of our students have ever come through here. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart to be able to walk our building and tour our building and see many of the great things that are going on here every single day.